I'm Jack Shilly and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how you can sow tomatoes at home. It's a really quick and simple process so I'll keep this video short and sweet. What you'll need is some seeds. Here I've got two varieties that I'm going to be sowing. The process is the same for both. I've got a cherry tomato, super sweet 100, and I've got a very classic normal sized tomato called Moneymaker. Both good varieties. You'll also need a seed tray. Here I'm using half trays. I don't need an awful lot of seeds and it'll be a waste um, to use a full size seed tray for this. So I'm going to use one for each of the varieties of tomatoes that I've got. And you'll also need some compost. What you need to do is you need to fill your seed tray leaving about a centimetre or two centimetres from the top of the seed tray itself. I'm using just good quality multi-purpose compost. You want to remove any big bits like this and then ensure that you flatten the compost down. Once the seed tray is full and you've patted it down gently on the surface, you're then ready to sow your seeds into the soil. For tomatoes, you need to find somewhere that's in good, bright sunlight. So a windowsill on the south facing side is ideal. It needs to be about 18 to 24 degrees Celsius for successful germination. And you'll also need to make sure that you keep the seed tray moist. So if you have a cover or a propagator lid for a seed tray, they're always really helpful. Otherwise, just make sure you're keeping an eye on the watering to make sure that they don't dry out, as that does help germination. So choose the seeds that you're going to sow. You want a very small amount of seeds. And then all you're going to do is scatter them on the surface of the soil, making sure that they're not too close together otherwise they'll be competing as they germinate. You can see the seeds are lightly scattered across the surface of the seed tray there. And then what you want to do is you want to cover them with a very thin layer of compost, not even a centimetre in depth, so very, very thin. So we're talking five millimetres, six millimetres max. Level off so that you don't get water pooling on the surface. Gently pat down and then give them a water. Job done. What you'll then get in about 8 to 12 days, maybe a little bit more, sometimes a little bit less, the seedlings will germinate and they'll get a set of what we call baby leaves and then you'll get a set of true leaves, which is the second set of leaves that comes after that. Once you've got your true leaves starting to come through, they can be pricked out. There is a video about pricking out tomato plants on my channel, which I will link in the description below so that you can find out exactly how to do that. Thanks very much for watching. That's all there is to it.